your perception of how America is. When you came in here, you witnessed it yourself. Was this the right perception you were thinking in your mind or it was different? Well, it could have been a difference, but maybe I went through the wrong hands. Oh. I'm here alone by myself. I got my family back home with two boys. My first son is 13, my second son is 12. I'm not seeing them since I came to America, man. You know what I mean? It's a mental trauma for me first. After doctor declared you dead. She was arguing with, the, with like, like in the hospital, like they wanted to take it out because it is, it's over. Yeah. She was like, no, it's not over. I believe this man, this man is going to eat Christmas rice. That's what she told, that's what she told me. Christmas rice. Disclaimer. 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 DJ Bleed, Germany, Welcome on DJ Bleed TV, wonderful people. If you are new on DJ Bleed TV, make sure you click on the subscribe, share it, comment it, don't forget to like it. DJ Bleed TV, we are all the way inside Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America. I have with me here my brother from Africa, Nigeria. I'm here to talk with him one-on-one -on -one about the lifestyle in Atlanta, Georgia. And also, he has some one or two stories to also to share with DJ Blue TV. Ladies and gentlemen, help me to welcome my brother on DJ Blue TV. My brother. Ah. <laughs> good to boss. Yeah, man, how far? I'm good, man. <laughs> ah, so. Ah, how are you doing? Man, uh, okay, good. Okay. How, how, how life treating you in America? Boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this matter, I'm not talking too much. It's a matter. It's a matter. It's a matter. For the full country, so it's a matter. <laughs> but just like I say, we're not a grill. Uh -huh. We'll see there. You see there? Yeah, no shaking. Ah, now God, Africa we're from God now. God don't sleep. Now Africa we're from. I God don't sleep. So no shaking. <laughs> now Africa self, we don't, su we don't survive. Ba -ba. We don't survive for now Africa. For you. You, don't know the, you know the story? <laughs> no, you don't know. You don't know the story. I know the story. I know the story. Ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> when I say we don't know ourselves, oh, well, just shut down. Nice you know, one. That's what we say now, God. Yeah, now God. Nothing else, man. Yeah. We ain't faithful. Mm -hmm. We ain't loyal. We crazy motherfuckers, bro. But God is still faithful, bro. You know, all we have done, you know, all we did, and all that shit, mm -hmm. he's still good to people like me. I don't know about you, bro. But for me, he's good, man. Wow. You can see my brother really believe yeah, in yeah. God, you know, and that's how it is, man. If you're a human being that is on this world, if you don't believe in God, I don't know what else that you, you know, like you, you believe in or something like that. But let's take him straight. Let's take him straight to share his story on DJ Blit TV. My brother, welcome again on DJ Blit TV. First of all, yeah. let's take it from which year did you landed in the United States? I came in uh, in 20, 2016. 2016, uh, I think. That was 2016, I think January, February, I think so. I remember, man. 2016? I, it, I know it's 2016. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, 2016. When you were coming to the United States, what was your purpose? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, purpose of America makes sense, but at the same time, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it makes sense. At the same at time, the same time it, it don't make, make sense. sense. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> you take us through. The first time you landed in America, take us through. That dream now. I dream, man. Oh, Lord, see way back. Okay. What feel I would love her. What if they God, I beg, show us the way. I got down South Africa. Oh, okay. I was in America. You understand? So, yeah. that's all about, that's all I've always known. Mm -hmm. And that's what I know. No matter what I do, that's what I know. Okay. Yeah. So, ever since you landed in the United States, how is life? It's crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was good, but at the end of the day, man, I saw the whole shit myself, bro. I've been there, man. So your perception of how America is, and is when you came in here, you witnessed it yourself? Was this the right perception you were thinking in your mind or it was different? Well, it could have been a difference, but maybe I went through the wrong hands. Oh. Thinking that there were brothers and sisters. Oh. In the system. But that's all I've got in the country. I'm here alone, by myself. I got my family back home with two boys. My first son is 13, my second son is 12. I'm not seeing them since I came to America, man. You know what I mean? It's a mental trauma for me first. Since 2016, you left Nigeria. I've been fighting. I want to go see them. But a lot of shit, man. Like, 
Take us through. What are some of the hard things that you've been going through? Well, when I came back from that trauma, like I said, I didn't know what happened. As a young hustler, coming to America, I wanted to hustle. I don't need to wait for nobody, man, because the system allows that. Mm -hmm. I started hustling. Cool. No more me. Not what I wanted, but I got to do it because I got a family back home to take care of. Yeah. I got to do what I got to do. So I went walking in the tire shop. That's where the whole thing befell on me. Got my head cracked. No, all that. Confirmed dead. What? In America. Not in Nigeria. I'm not trying to belittle my country. But I know what I'm talking about. Dead in America. And it was just his life-saving grace of a girl that I know. I've always mentioned her name anywhere in the world. I love her like a sister. I love her like, I don't know. She's just one of a kind, man. I don't know her from nowhere. We just met two weeks before this incident. She gave me all the love I ever wanted in my life. She was the one that told the doctor, this man will live again. That support, don't take it out. After doctor declared you dead? She was arguing with, the, with like, like in the hospital, like they want to take it out because it is, it's over. Yeah. She was like, no, it's not over. I believe this man, this man is gonna eat Christmas rice. That's what she told, that's what she told me, Christmas rice. You know? Wow. All of a sudden, here I am. For not my cause. For what? I don't even know. I don't know what transpired between the owner or whoever. Like, why me? That's the only thing I want to ask the person that fucked me up, man. Like, what, what the fuck, bro? Look at me very well. Why did you do that to me? I don't know you from nowhere. We don't talk. We don't. I've, I've been in the country for nine months. I've been hustling. I don't. It's just walk home, walk home, walk home. That's what I do. Nothing else. You said you were working in a Thai company, a like, Thai like a organizer, like in... That's what I, that's what I did when yeah. I came to America, yeah. In America, so, yeah. and whilst you were working... That's where it came. You just, you just fell down. I, <laughs> if I thought if I thought I had that, I never know what I would have You, you don't even know what hospital, happened. Now, 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 who do I know? But, but this man, I swear, I carried the matter long ago. I go police, I go, I go everywhere, I carry it. Morgan and Morgan was, I was one of their clients, man. But something struck, but after more struggle and fight and all of that shit, man, my, the owner of the company, they threaten me, they tell me so many things, like, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, one team, one team, man, you go, you go slide, one team, one team, man, behave yourself, you know, that can matter. For that, my condition. Now you abandoned me. This guy abandoned me, bro. Wow. Your own brother from Nigeria? He abandoned me. When I need him as a father figure that make up because he knows I'm here alone and I was diligent to his service. There was no errors. He knows. And this lady you are taking you have taken her as your sister, she's the one who was standing by herself. I don't know, I don't know who called her. I don't know how she got, I don't know how she came about. But when angel, I woke up, bro. I saw her. That was your angel. When I woke up, I saw her. They, 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 they started telling me the story. Ooh. Everything I'm telling you right now is what they told what me. They told you. Not what I went through. I didn't know. I, I, I don't know, bro. Wow. Till now, at the point I asked my doctor in the hospital, his name is Dr. Paul King of Atlanta Medical Center here in Atlanta. When I woke up and I got myself to an accident, I asked him, bro, what's going on, man? What's going on? Wow. I'm taking care of my bills, man. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> That's why I found the grace of God. God is too good. In all of that, bro, I was well taken care of. Without a dime. Wow. When the bill came to my box, my mailbox, you know how much it is? How much? Almost a million dollars. Almost a million dollars. At the time, I asked my doctor, bro, Who's paying the bills right now? I don't get it, man. What's going on? Because I was conscious. That's what I am, man. I want to know. Like, I know it, is, it can be normal, but I want to know what, what's going yeah. on. And the doctor told me, and he loves Dr. Parking. I love that man. He's a black man. I love him. He's a father. And like, take it easy, bro. You really have to concentrate more on your being well and fit. Yeah. That's not a problem. You're cool. That's what he told me. Just like that? Just like that. So I made the research on my own. I knew 
I'm not going to use that as a yastic though, but mm -hmm. I knew the government do it. They take care of you. They don't, they don't require no license or no yeah, yeah. people at work, whatever. When this happens, they take care of you first. Go you Ooh. strong first. Before they think about the bills. At the time, the bills are at the time, man, you go right off. Because men, they, we don't collect the bill. They chest them, they run them, based on, on your behalf. You never know. But they run them. Mm. I'm grateful. So how, how, how are you able to settle the bill? My brother, <laughs> as God would do, that God, that God, object is not just God's yeah. orchestration. It's God's orchestration. The bills came. I had saved $4,000. Unknown to nobody, just me. You just want to tie up the shop and all that. Mm -hmm. That was the money I used to. After that incident, I could remember where that money was. And I went there, I still saw the money there. I told God, thank you. Okay, that's what I was using to survey, to put things in order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, even with when, after the, my brother, the battle long. But how long, how long were you, did you stay, were you staying in coma? Like they said, it's close to three months. Three months? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what they told me. I don't know. You know so, at the end of the day, bro, you know, sometimes I just try to take things easy to an extent. Not that I'm stupid. But that's the way it is at the moment, you know. Yeah. Just well, I, I, let me take you through back, back uh, to Africa a little bit. During that period of time, you say your family is in Africa, Nigeria, yeah. right? My wife During and two kids. that time, that issue, yeah. Wait, did they hear about this? My brother, it's a long story. It's a, if I talk different sections of this matter, you go hello. <laughs> my family matter a different matter. The case that my, my 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 wife went trauma. She was. Of course, I can imagine. We, we didn't tell my mom for like three months until I got my when I came back to life, and I was trying to put myself together. That's where they, 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 they allowed my mom to know, to know that his first son. Wow. The first son. They expect that woman to be sleeping and be, and, and be happy. Oh. No. That's my mom. That's my mom, man. They did that to me for no reason. I don't know. That's the only thing I want to ask the person. What did that do to you? For no reason, that's as you say, we get with it, no, you can't run one package, this can't happen, one or that. Why you think death? Why you raising death for the matter? So, are you thinking all this thing that happened to you, are you thinking is, is, uh, someone is behind it? Bro, if I just say I know, I'm not a man. Why do you two baba? I go to baba. I don't know. But at the point, after so many, so many movements and activities where I do for the matter, mm -hmm. I just come to say, man, let God be God. Not pro, no need. God, I, do that. I try. I run, I run police, I run every, every department. Just to get justice. I'm not saying. Wow. As in to what I know, maybe I don't know Rachel, I don't know, but the way I know, mm -hmm. I feel safe for give me results. Why not give me results? I think go Morgan and Morgan for Yankee. Mm -hmm. They know my case. I say I believe them. But now they will tell me what I need to do. Now maybe now they tell me. Now maybe we can find out your bro. Mm -hmm. I say no need. You know what they told me? I say, oh, let me talk to you, bro. After many drag for phone calls, everything, uh, email. Maybe I can get a one-on-one -on -one conversation one day for phone. We talk, we rub my. They will talk, you need to tell me, say man, bro. You know what? I'll tell you the truth, bro. I know how it feels, man. I feel your pain, bro. But treat that if, if, if you can just move on and just let it slide and move on. But I'm assuring you, we can still work for you if you want us to come to work for you, man, to get you know, like. But when you told me that, I'm like, okay, cool. But on the second thought, how would I be dragging? God has made me whole. He brought me back in life. Now I gotta keep moving. That's where I am too now. I'm still moving. So now, like, you're on feet now? Very fit. Wow. Very fit. You know what the doctors told me? After my accident? That's what they told me, though. They said, after, they said, thank God is alive. They're happy and all that. But they're feeling that. You know this guy? 
you can walk again, you can talk again, you can do this and do that. They said that attached, oh. attached to me. From that moment, I heard it till tomorrow. The rebuke. Wow. God has been faithful. Whatever they see, I don't know. I don't want to see. I don't want to see. Yeah. I don't want to know what they see. What I know, I know that God, not to sleep. He knows. I love him like Kilo D. You don't hear about Yoruba matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that word before, yeah. This matter, this people that are different matter. Wow. Sometimes we tend to like lose concentration from where God has brought us. Mm -hmm. You know, the beauty of it is all that not, not, not that you actually forgot, you're still building. Because it's a story to tell, man. It's real, not, not be Dagbo. Not me. The whole of Atlanta call out, they'll tell you, they know my story. For highway they fight. But, sorry, for Tara Bolivar. I work I work in all, all departments in Twin Potter and show. They took me everywhere. And those are the first people where they showed me the road for America. Mm. But they still fucked me up. You can imagine that shit, man. Wow. Imagine that shit. Why would you do that? Are you that? Are you that? Are you that? Heartless. Are you that? Even if you're heartless, man, you know, you know, you know the thing? If you're not fitting, your wife not fitting. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, you'll be like, I can't go. What did that happen? You'll be like, the same, like, you know, 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 Oh, it's story plenty. It's story plenty now. It's story plenty, bro. But we just choose to like let it slide. Yeah. Because so many, I don't want no need. Yeah. Are their life? Make a push. Make a chest down. I don't want to be maybe. Mm -hmm. Or that or that. A time you could take somebody will call in them. For real, man. I beef nobody. I ain't be nobody. Do what you gotta do for yourself, bro. I don't know. Not the reason you. Wow. So join. Take my family. Join this time of the period of your uh, uh, those people that they were there. The trauma that during this time of period. Those people that they were there, that you knew that they stand by mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. they don't so, know me. They don't know me. They just know me. Just for two weeks. So when you came back to life yeah. after doctor declared you yeah. dead. Yeah. You said there was one woman yeah. who believed that you was, you you are yeah. not dead. Yeah. I want you to look through the camera. Okay. Whatever that you want to pour it from your heart, say to her. Oh. And also other people too also that. Yeah, know, yeah, I yeah, bro. Thank you very, you very, 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 very much for this privilege. I don't know what you have done to me today. I don't know you. You don't know me. You just been for the first time. I would take advantage of our time to interact. That's how we got here. You know, lady, Uloma. <laughs> Agbari. My, no, my name one. is Uloma. Shade, Uloma. 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 You're crazy. I know you. You look Uloma. <laughs> Uloma. Shade, beauty queen. Uloma will tell us to be straight. If you want that, that. If you want to be, be. Okay, don't tell me what you want to tell you know. You game or me, you not game. <laughs> Look to the car and tell her something. Hold on, let me say something. Wherever you are, wherever you are, in this world, which of course I know you are, are here with me, we'll, we'll talk on the phone and steady, but we might not be saying like, as usual, this is America, we gotta hustle. You know the story, man. Hold on, I don't know how to express how I feel right now because I wasn't in this mood until this guy called me, but I just took an advantage man, to tell you, you're a darling. God will bless you. Whatever you want, whatever you desire, whatever you have wished for, whatever you have told yourself, this is what I want it to be. Uloma, in God's infinite mercies, it's unto you, valid statements. I don't tell you. You saved the soul. When I just need just for two weeks, you saved the soul. You gave me life again. You brought me back to memory lane again. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you from the depth of my heart. 
I love you like a sister. I love you like I like kilo day. What did they happen? Me go know I so I love you. No, no matter no guy I want be, not you, not you, you're not past you, not you. I don't assume, oh, I don't feel like saying I assume, I don't assume, but I tell you, that be you, you know. Still on, one love, man. One love, man. I love you, man. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. The Lord will increase in all forms. They're not rich, now you don't know. What the worry now? You know. Okay, my brother, it was really nice for giving DJ Blue TV the privilege to share your story with us. Um, right about now, I think you have to say a special greeting to your family back home. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's nice talking with you guys. I appreciate you guys for the audience and also for this first time, like I said, like, mm. cool. You know, um, shout out to my lovely wife. Her name is Sharon Anini Akbasubi. And to my wonderful boys. David and Derek, they are all and what I got, and I love them to my bone marrow. And I want to say thank you to my family. Wherever you are, your children in the world, just know that I love you guys, man, for real. And time will take, oh, like I said, Tamra will call him by his grace. For Avale. It is well. Thank you. Brother, one or two advice for anybody who just came to the United States or who is still going through your struggle. Any two advice? Just a piece of advice. Don't give up, bro. Don't give up because at the time I gave up, I've given up so many, many, many times. Valid statement. I don't know how, I don't know. But I don't know how I managed to come up again. But the reason I always ask God for help. Help. With you, it will not work. With you. Sorry, without you, it will not work. It will not work. And <laughs> you know, and I know. It's you, man. And every day I always come to tell you, thank you. From my heart, thank you. I appreciate everything. I could be stupid still doing what I gotta do. But you know what I know, in my heart, you're all I've got, nobody else, man. Nobody else, man. Thank you. Man. What's your name? My name is Alex Akpasubi. Alex? Akpasubi. Akpasubi. Yes, sir. It was nice talking to you. Do what I gotta we really, do. We really appreciate your One time love, man. talking to you. I appreciate you too. TV. Well, people, you, you heard him. You know. My brother, our brother, he has really went through, let me put it, the word, hell ever since yeah, he man. stepped his foot in the United States of America. Crazy, man. I went but, a lot. like he said, a lot, bro. if you live in this world, make sure you have a clean mind. That's it. Clean heart. That's it, man. Everything that, that happens to you, everything that you do, God is going to protect you. That is it, God bro. is going to guide you. That is it. That's the way is on your still, front. Man. Just do your thing, bro. Doctor, declare him dead. Do your thing and be real, man. But his fellow, Real. Sister, Charlene, the doctor, Uloma, God okay. is really working with you. Sure. She challenged the doctor and said, this man here is not dead. It's not dead. I don't mind you talking. No, 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 it's not yet your time, uh, to definitely not your time. You might you. be going through some struggles. Yeah, and I'm no more key for the matter. But, but now, storyline, what you got to do, follow. Not be your fault, you might not want to follow it, but you go shape it to follow that straight road. It, it has go. to pass, On you your, have to pass but through but that. But I'm not going there, key. Yeah. You won't get to understand that without acceptance, no shaking. Now, movement for deal. We're not mm. there wait for one thing, no. Take me to the next level, Lord. That's what I want. I don't know, That's all. What you have to pray. And make sure everything yeah. that you do, okay, pray, you man. say a prayer before you make a move. Exactly, man. My brother and my sister, we thank you very much for taking your time to tune on DJ Blade TV. Make sure you share, you subscribe, like, comment, spread the news. Wherever you are, DJ Blade TV, we are now in the United States. So wherever you are in the world, you want to come on DJ Blade TV to share your story, contact us. We will come and have one or two words with you 
we, we really like to talk with you one on one interaction. That is what DJ Bleed we do. DJ Bleed TV will bring you this interview all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America. Thank you very much until we meet again. Bye bye. On love, man. Shout out to DJ Bleed TV. Here we subscribe. Kindly please like, share, and subscribe.